In the news about the best browser in the world for downloading another browser is that Internet Explorer is no more in Windows 10. It's been replaced by Project Spartan. And that's just the code name at the moment. Microsoft have been working on this new browser, a new rendering engine, to try and improve the speed and make it more streamlined across other devices. Because Microsoft are sort of realizing now that they're actually losing the browser wars and losing them quite badly because a lot of people are moving away to the likes of Firefox and Chrome, which are far more usable and much faster. Of course, there's mentions here about this new rendering engine, which is Edge HTML, is that it's much faster on JavaScript rendering than the likes of Chrome. Really, do I care about JavaScript rendering times if I'm looking at HTML5 page with some CSS3 effects? No, I doubt JavaScript rendering speeds are going to improve that at all. You see, what I care about, and probably what many other people will care about, is how usable the browser is, and almost to a certain extent as well, how presentable it is. You see, have Microsoft have just sort of sat back and let all the other browsers invent themselves, and they've really moved on, they've come on a long way. And in fact, I know there was a time when the dominance of IE6 was so complete that they actually got rid of most of the Internet Explorer team and moved them to other projects. That is how complacent Microsoft were. And no wonder when you had the likes of Firefox appear that uh, people did move across. Anyway. This is a picture of the new browser here, and doesn't that look absolutely terrible? I can think of a four-letter word here. It starts with S, ends in hit, and that describes it very nicely. And for other languages, well, I know the German word I'm looking for is Scheiser. Look, it's all grey, it's all flat, it's all square. Where did they come up with this design? Well, look at comparison here of Firefox. It's got some beautiful curves, it's a gradient effect. It's nice. Even this picture of Mozilla version 1 from 2002, that looks nicer. <laughs> because really, when I've been using browsers, I was against IE from the start. And I've been using the internet back in Windows 3.1 <laughs> in the early 90s when we had dial-up speeds of, well, I think it was 28k our first modem, and then we got a 56k modem. Wow, what an improvement there. But anyway. On the PC we had, we had a choice of Netscape Communicator or some really old version of IE. And I hated it back then. I hated IE. I would rather use Netscape. It was slightly better, and I think it was even slightly faster on speed. May not be much, but <laughs> when you got a slow dial-up speed, it did make a difference. And then we look at how things have come along here. We have Tab Browsing, 2002. Do you know when Microsoft had tabbed browsing? IE7. And that was released in 2006, so in four, nearly five years. Now, I know four years doesn't really sound like a lot, but to put it another way, Microsoft pretty much released five operating systems during that same sort of period. Because we went from Windows 95, 98, NT4, 2000, and ME. Five operating systems in the same period from when Mozilla 1 had tabbed browsing to IE7 had tabbed browsing. No wonder they started losing the browser wars. When the competition was coming up with innovative designs like that and, and other features like the add-ons, then, you know, that's, this is why people moved away. And the speed. There's probably only four reasons why you would want to use Internet Explorer because you don't know any better, you're an enterprise user and you don't have a choice, you're using some website that you're forced to use it on, in which case you might as well just spoof it with user agent header and you could use Firefox, or you're an expert user and you know how to change registry settings to make IE usable. Anyway, whatever Microsoft come up with, I won't be interested. There's nothing really that's going to move me away from Firefox or Chrome. And yes, I use Firefox on my main system here, I use Chrome on my Android phone and tablet, and I always use Chrome at work. Either one, I don't really mind. I'm not going to say which is the best out of those two. But I hate Internet Explorer. So that's the news. Microsoft are replacing Internet Explorer with this new Project Spartan, yet to be named, browser. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.